I, oh, hallelujah, praise God. First of all, I need to ask you guys to start sharing my videos a little bit more. Those of you who think that I should make more videos, thank you. I, I only can make, uh, there, went, there went a little bit of time where I didn't have any inspiration to make a video, and I'm not going to sit in front of this computer and just make a video. I got it. The Holy Spirit has to lead me to do it. And but um, if you will pray and choose the right video to watch, you'll see I have 645 videos right now, and uh, this is probably 646. <gasps> 666 is coming! Oh my God! Maybe by the time I get to 666, that number will be out. Anyway, so I was thinking I was done for for the day, but I felt in my heart that I still have to make another video, which is this video right here. <clears throat> and so I don't really have anything to say I think I said everything that I personally felt the Lord leading me but for a few days he's been telling me to just pray in tongues <laughs> where do you hear what I'm saying wait till the interpretation comes the Bible says if someone speaks in tongues, he should pray that he'll interpret. Why don't we ever pray that we interpret? Why do we always just pray in tongues and never say, God, help me to interpret? Some do. I look at Father God. I look at us in the car, we are. Time. It is time. Now, when the devil pleaded, and said, win, win. I told him, this is it. And that guy that all the prophets are saying is your guy. That's your guy. And you better do it exactly as the Bible says. And you're not going to be able to do anything outside of what God's word says. Jesus is Lord. And God's word is true. And the and the very end, everything's going to happen exactly as is described in this word. It's going to be proof that Jesus is Lord and that his servants, the prophets, are the servants and prophets of God. When the prophets of God stand up and the 144,000 are sealed with the seal of God and they go forth and proclaim that tomorrow by this time God will turn the waters into blood and the next day it happens exactly as they say the inhabitants of the earth will still refuse to repent <laughs> but those who love the Lord God will make peace with you and he will be with you, he will protect you, and death will lose its sting. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, and all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. And God is the God Almighty, King of kings and Lord of lords, and he has a bride, he has a bride without spot or blemish. And the Bible says that some are the spot and all the spots and blemishes are going to be removed. All the weeds among the wheat will be removed. All the foolish virgins will be removed. All the wicked will, that we are, we are a remote generation from the, from the days of Enoch. We are a remote generation that is for to come. At a time when God will remove the wicked and ungodly from the earth. And God will make peace with the elect. All of them. And he will be with them and he will protect them. All of them. And his mercy will be on them. And they will go forth as victorious conquerors. And they will be victorious over the beast and his image. And over the number of his name. They love not their life so much as to shrink from death and God will grant them access to the tree of life and their name will never be blotted out and they will be like stars in the sky. They will shine forever. And those who serve God and put God first and he who endures to the end will be saved. 
But for the wicked ungodly, for those who reject his voice, for those who persecute the prophets, for those who are lukewarm, disobedient, for the whore on the beast, there is no escape. There is no false rapture that's going to take you away like some fairy tale. As if there's some sort of salvation for the disobedient, lukewarm, whore on the beast. Are you kidding? <clears throat> Some have never even seen a real prophet before, so you don't know what to make of it. So much false teaching, it outweighs. There's more false teaching now in the world than ever before. In the church, and when I say the world, I meant the worldly church. <clears throat> that lukewarm whore on the beast broadcasting her false teachings about God all over the world. And yet the elect cannot be deceived. And God will make peace with his elect. And he will protect them. And he will be with them. All of them. And he has chosen them. They are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. And so... That's why it is written, consider it all joy when you encounter trials and hardships of many time, of many different kinds. As these trials come, that your faith might be proven genuine and that perseverance might be made complete. Now, when Still Small Voice starts preaching the truth, she's going to sound like what I'm saying. Verse after verse after verse will come out of her mouth. And they love not their life so much as to shrink from death. And their name will not be blotted out from the Lamb's book of life. But for the lukewarm, disobedient, for the godless and the ungodly and all their ungodly acts that they have done in an ungodly Godly way, and even saying that they're sent from God Almighty, from from the King of King, and yet perverting His word and changing God into their servant, and their teaching changes God from the all from the King of Kings and Lord of Lords to a scared little wimp who's pleading with his bride, "Please come to me," as if some ex boyfriend who can't get a girl. Would you say that about a, even a even one of the foremost athletes in the world today? Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo or Brett Favre or you know, even an old guy like like Joe Montana. Do you really think Joe Montana would be pleading with his wife, please come to me? I need you. Isn't there a line of women who are lined up? down the street try, who would try to hook up with Joe Montana because he's a multi-millionaire and a professional athlete and famous. I'm just saying. And here's Jesus. I'm kicking my brother. That is a lie from the devil. And Jesus is Lord and the wicked, ungodly will not repent. They did not dig down to the foundation. For those who never dug down to the rock and built on the foundation, the flood is coming. And for those who did, you have obeyed God. You have dug down to the rock. And you have built on the foundation. Guess what? The flood is coming. It comes to both. But for one, it's attaining to a greater resurrection. And for the other, it's a great falling away. And that's why Jesus said, let him who has an ear to hear, let him hear. Let him who has the heart of obedience, let him obey. Let him who endures to the end be saved. And let him who falls away, let him fall away. For they have not, they have not built their house on the foundation of the rock. They may have built a great structure. They might have a multi-million dollar worldwide ministry built on sand. And as the blind lead the blind, they will all, all of them, will fall into a pit. No good tree can bear bad fruit. No bad tree can bear good fruit. Those whom I love, I rebuke. And those whom love me can receive rebuke. 
and not make the decision, kill the prophet. That's what David was. When Nathan rebuked David, David proved that he's a man of God. He could have said, you know what? Right in front of everyone, Nate, Nathan, right in front of everyone, you're going to rebuke me for what I did with Bathsheba in front of everyone? Take him out to the edge of the city. Hang him on the gallows. I never want to see this man again. David could have done that, but he obeyed God. He received rebuke. And all the trials and hardship that came from that, he still served God. Your job is to serve God in the midst of hardship, in the midst of trial, knowing, praising God in the midst of it like Job, knowing that you are attaining to a greater resurrection. Amen.